Welcome back to another Marvel Puzzle Quest play session with me, P.I. McLeod. Today we're going to look at Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. for Elsa Bloodstone. We're going to do day one. It's pretty late here. Day two is probably going to start pretty soon, but let's get into day one and do these nodes. And we'll see if we can do a video for each one of these days. Um, I'm not going to take it easy on these nodes. Um, mainly for the fact that the first couple of them are pretty much cakewalks. Anyone should be able to do them. Um, given you've been playing for, I don't know, at least a month. It's not hard to get enough covers to deal with some of the early ones. But the late ones require a little more muscle. And um, I kind of want to get a good momentum going into that. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to click into it here. I already looked in here once, but... I didn't look into any of the nodes yet. So we'll start off with the one on ones. Against Immortal Hulk, huh? Yikes. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's not like he's taking with Okoy like he is in every single other PvP session. Am I right? They give me this 355 loner Elsa, huh? That's actually pretty good. I'd rather, I think that's probably how I'd build her personally. That red is okay. It's, you know, got some potential, but that blue hits like a truck. Um, as long as you aim it right, of course. And that purple has a nice utility with those traps and, you know, passively changing colors of tiles that can make cascades before you even go. So I think that's a pretty good build. Let's see how it does against Immortal Hulk, though. Well, we know how Hulk runs. He has fun if he has eight or more greens out there on the board. As a matter of fact, we'll check it out. Yep, there it is. Eight. If at least eight basic green tiles on the board. And he makes one before it even counts that. So, should probably start eliminating some of the greens. Might not have been the smartest move, but... See so if we can stall for time here a little bit. See now she converts colors. Five basic five green basic tiles into black trap tiles. So I need that purple. That'll stop him cold. Well, I shouldn't say cold. It'll stop him for a while. How about that? But I don't see any. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna eat one of these green doors again. As annoying as that is. See, he's not airborne, he's not invisible, he's not going to get stunned from this, but he is going to take damage. There's no way he's going to get airborne or invisible either. So I might as well just shoot it off, right? There you go. This will probably spell, spell his doom. I got the blues ready. See, if you read through all the text there, basically you choose a tile, the eight surrounding ones get destroyed, and, uh, and plus three other randoms, dealing extra damage for each yellow destroyed. In other words, you select a tile that has the most yellow surrounding it, and I'm thinking it's this one. I'm counting one, two, three, four. I don't think there's a better match, a better place than that. So, well, I guess technically it could do that. One, two, no, that's still four. No, 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 that's better. One, two, three, four. This one's better. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. <laughs> I only need to hit like three tiles, but still. I always try my best. Never mind those taps if you hear them. That's just me tapping the screen. This is a mobile game after all. Yeah, the next one I gotta fight against Elsa. Now, oh, I can use who I want to use. Well, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you use your five-star Professor Xavier? 
can I say, I mean, is there any reason why I wouldn't should have done that? That's right. By the way, thanks to Chilled Cat, as always, for providing the nice background tunes here. You can check them out on Chilled Cat's uh, channel, which is on YouTube. They also got a stream on Spotify and a couple other services. Just check them out. They're pretty awesome. Let's see. Day one. See, look at that. 65, 65, 65. This is going to be a walkthrough. They make me use Thor. Oh no. I'm really not going to care about who I'm using here. All I know is I should probably put in someone who's going to pack a punch. Thanos can't wipe him off instantly. And let's throw in. Oh, I can't use five star Thor. I just thought I saw that because of my two star that's purposely in there. That's silly. Uh, we'll use someone like Hella. It's just someone to do the damage. I need to get the court death to just go. Probably should have done one of the lower guys. I wasn't thinking. There we go. Sorry, Hella. Had to be done. Day one. Let's see. Day one. Show your stuff. 120, 120, 120. That's still not a lot of hit points. But now I can put in 5 star Thor. I'm doing this purposely to lower his hit points down. He's just above the half point threshold right now from using him earlier. If he's not above, he's like on the cusp. Let's just make sure he's ready for later rounds. There we go. He is definitely below half now. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use them. I just want to make sure I have them at the ready. 180, 180, 180. Forced me to use Cloak and Dagger and Elsa. Cloak and Dagger, huh? See, that's kind of an obvious thing there. She's, Cloak and Dagger like to play with blacks and yellows. Elsa's traps convert blacks to yellow. So it's a lot of black and yellow shuffling going on on the board. It's kind of neat. Um... I'm thinking if I keep Thor out there, I can fire off Elsa's red more often. It's tempting. Let's see how it goes. I mean, these guys don't have a lot of hit points. So what am I worried about? I'm not. I should have been targeting the stupid robot first. Hate those sentries. Who likes them? For real. Does anyone like sentries? You better not. Just say no right now. No one likes them. I mean, we don't have to like the bad guy, but still. We'll just pop a shot off. And then do this. Done. Simple, right? This is just day one. Remember, the later days will be harder. Okay, here we go. Test of skill. 45, 45, 45. There's no tile movers in here. I mean, yeah, no one just moves a tile each turn. This might be pretty easy. Dr. Doom. Also, Dr. Doom likes blacks and yellows. I see a theme that they're going with here. Um, but he only really cares if the enemy matches blacks and yellows. And since the enemy's not really moving anything, that's not going to happen. So they're expecting Elsa to gather the black via her trap so Dr. Dune could blast away. It's kind of interesting. Notice that the loner here is uh, 355 five, and mine is only 523. So I'll take their loner. 
It's a couple. It's like fifteen levels higher. No, twenty-five levels higher than mine, anyways. <sighs> Since Elsa plays with switching tile colors a little bit here and there, I wonder if I should put it in Professor. I don't know. It's kind of tempting. Then again, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Okoy. She could tank for all the black, yellow, and red for these guys. Oh, actually, no. Elsa is going to tank over her. 485. Well, maybe not for the black and yellow. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see how this goes. They're only goons. I really shouldn't be worried, but it's always... It's a crapshoot. So you make that cascade roll right off the rip here. Remember, this is Okoy, so I need to be aiming for team-up tiles, but I can't let juicy things like this go out. Get out of the way. I need that. As much as I want to fire off Elsa's gun, I'm saving the red for the Okoy spear. So if one of the enemy tiles is going to go nuts on me, I want to make sure I'm ready. I will fire off the traps, though. That'd be silly not to. Get yellow for Okoy, as always. That's actually going to be pretty nice here with Elsa. I'll feed Okoy here. Do that. Look at wow, those three traps went off and just nailed them. That's kind of disgusting. So let's heal Okoy. Not like she needs it, but we'll get more team up tiles. We'll just fire this off. Bloop. Thank you. That's the sound it makes. I don't know if you knew that. It makes a bloop sound. <laughs> What was that? One of my traps? Nice. I'll just fire that off. Wow. Okoy's damage boost is just sickening. If you're not aware of here, just just because. For increased by 1341 for each team up AP you have. So just let's just do some quick rounding. It's 1300 I have, right? 1300 per AP. I have 12 AP. So you're looking at 13,000 plus. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing quick rounding. It's no big deal. I don't need to be exact, but you get the idea. You do something silly and little, and all of a sudden it's it's a nuke. Okoye has been topped here for a long time for this reason, and her true healing. Both things combined is ridiculous. Yeah, I guess I'll take some blues. Kind of curious how much damage I can do with Elsa's gun. Let's do that. That should be fun. Ooh, I got a five times lined up. Gotta take it when you see it, right? Okay, let's do this. Right here. Boop! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, that was disgusting. But, you know, you're never going to get a four-star like Elsa up to that level in normal play. That's just the thing I did right here in S.H.I.E.L.D. Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. and that's it. It's not going to happen in any other place, really. So. But there we go. Um, there's Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. Day 1 for Elsa Bloodstone. Um, I'll be making a bunch more videos for this one because um, each day there's like a couple more days to go at least and uh, each day has got its own challenges and they get harder and harder so you know stay tuned um, I'll keep posting them as they come out and uh, thanks for watching I'll check you later